What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host Warren and Marvel Studios right now is changing a lot of what they are doing. Recently we talked about how Bob Iger stated in a recent conference that they pulled the trigger on canceling some upcoming MCU projects that they had planned. And it looks like we get a little bit more details about what those projects were today, at least some of them, a few of them, and the reason why they are specifically canceling certain projects over others. And it definitely does have to do with a few things like box office numbers, and fan reception of the films and projects. Now, real quick, if you are not aware, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige and Disney CEO Bob Iger have both said that they are going to be cutting back on the volume that they are producing with their projects, meaning they are not going to be making as many movies and shows as they were before. We're primarily going to see a reduction of Disney Plus shows that are released, but today we actually have news about a few movies being canceled, specifically movies. So let's dive into this recent news. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. We're also giving away a PS5 and Xbox Series X. More on the giveaway at the end of the video. So in this report, we're going to talk about three different movies, many different characters, and even Venom. And all of these reports about all of the things that I just mentioned are coming from the insider Daniel RPK, who has a good track record. The first thing I'll mention is Venom, since it doesn't really have too much to do with Marvel Studios' decision to cancel some movies. If you haven't heard, the official title for Venom 3 is Venom 3 The Last Dance, which is something. It's definitely a title. I would have preferred Lethal Protector, but the title of the movie ultimately doesn't matter that much. As long as it's a good movie that's entertaining and we can enjoy it, that's all that really matters. But Daniel RPK gave us more news about this. He stated, Venom 3 will be the last solo film, which of course we knew, but Sony has plans for him in other projects and Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios, is open for Venom to appear in Secret Wars. Which right away, that is amazing news. We want... Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock and Venom to appear in Secret Wars, despite Marvel and Sony having some weird plan for a new symbiote that is still Venom to appear in the MCU that is not Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock's Venom. We still love to see Tom Hardy's Venom in the MCU. In fact, that's what we really wanted. We wanted to see Tom Hardy's Venom go up against Tom Holland's Spider-Man, and there's rumors that that could happen in Venom 3. Nothing solid, that's not confirmed, but there have been rumors that a Spider-Man could appear in that movie. The insider My Time to Shine Hello has stated that Tom Hardy's Venom and Tom Holland's Spider-Man are going to go up against each other sooner than we think. So maybe that's Venom 3, maybe that's a different project. But good news on the Venom front, Venom 3 will be the last Venom film, but Tom Hardy's Venom will show up other places, including possibly the MCU. Kevin Feige is open to it, which is great. Now, when we talk about some projects that are canceled, the first one we'll talk about is Eternals 2. Now, this apparently is no longer in production, which apparently it was secretly in production over at Marvel Studios, but apparently is no longer in production or development at Marvel Studios. Now, Daniel RPK did go on to talk a little bit more about this report to give us a little bit more details. He said, Marvel is cutting costs, and that means Eternals 2, that was secretly in the works, and here he says, is not on hold. Feige wanted the sequel to be made, but Bob Iger does not. He thinks it's a sure flop. So this one is actually kind of up in the air. Bob Iger apparently has said, no, we're not doing Eternals, but Kevin Feige is pushing for it. So this one very well still could be made. And go ahead, let me know in the comments right now, would you like to see an Eternals 2? I know the first Eternals film wasn't exactly received well by a lot of people. I personally enjoyed the film. I don't think it was amazing, but I don't think it was really bad. But I certainly would really like to see the continuation of that story because I think we definitely need to explore the Celestials more in the MCU. But go ahead and let me know what you think. Now, the next part of this report, a lot of people really are not going to like. He states, no Ant-Man 4 or Captain Marvel 3. They now want to focus on sure hits and take less risks. And right away, I know Ant-Man fans and Captain Marvel fans are not going to be too happy about this. But as I mentioned in the first part of the video, this comes down to box office numbers and audience reception. Ant-Man did okay at the box office. You can't really say Ant-Man did well. It didn't really have a spectacular box office run. They did make more than their budget, which was around $200 million, and it earned $476.1 But just for comparison, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 did 800 
1,845.6 million, almost 400 million more than Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania did. Then, when you look at the Marvels, it's really not good. They did 206.1 million in the box office, and that's really bad when you consider that their budget for the movie was 270 million. They didn't even break even. It was one of the most expensive non-Avengers films Marvel Studios has ever made, so you can see why Marvel Studios wants to cut back, take less risk, and focus on more things that are going to be somewhat of a sure success at the box office. And like I said, a lot of people didn't really like the film. Now there's a lot that goes behind Captain Marvel, Brie Larson, a lot of hate that she gets that I don't believe she deserves, and I honestly don't think this movie was that bad. It wasn't good by any means, but people are really dogging on this movie. And I don't think Ant-Man was that terrible either. Again, not a great movie by any means, but if they just had better better storytelling, these movies would have been massively better. I mean, Kang, your new big bad, getting killed at the end of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania by an army of ants? An army of ants defeated him? Come on, your new big bad that's supposed to be an unstoppable being was taken down by an ant army? I'm sorry, but that's just a bad storytelling decision. But it does seem like the lack of success that these movies had is going to lead to the main characters, Captain Marvel and Ant-Man, not getting sequels. And when it comes to the Marvels, they did set us up at the end with that post credit scene for Monica and Mario Rambeau to seemingly play some part in Deadpool 3 because we saw Beast, Hank McCoy, we even heard Professor X mentioned. But according to Daniel RPK, Monica and Maria are not in Deadpool 3 unless it's a post credit scene. People thought they were in it after the credit scene in the Marvels. They are not. So maybe this is something they saved for Secret Wars or maybe it's just a post credit scene that's never really going to be talked about again because the movie wasn't that big of a success. But either way, it sounds like they're not going to be in Deadpool 3 and that story might not even be continued really. I mean, if Bob Iger is willing to scrap the Eternals sequel, a story that I think we actually need to see in the MCU to understand the Celestials more, then he's definitely willing to scrap the storyline they had for Monica and Maria Rambeau. However, keep in mind, this does not mean that you're never going to see Captain Marvel again and you're never going to see Ant-Man again. Just because they are deciding not to do sequels for the movie doesn't mean that they aren't going to show up elsewhere, and of course, they both are. We've actually heard that Ant-Man is possibly going to show up in Spider-Man 4 and interact with his bug buddy, Peter Parker, who he definitely doesn't remember right now, but he does remember Spider-Man. So hopefully he'll be in Spider-Man 4. Then, to top it all off, of course, we're all assuming that he's going to be in the next Avengers film and then in Avengers Secret Wars. So we definitely haven't seen the end of Ant-Man. And as far as Carol is concerned, some insiders have stated that she is off right now somewhere in the universe studying the bangle that she has. Remember, Kamala Khan had one, then Darbin had another, but she now has the one that Darbin had. And I'm assuming she's ultimately going to find out that it's Kang technology. The same thing goes with the Ten Rings. Carol investigated them before with Bruce Banner, didn't know where they came from, but since we just heard that Shang-Chi 2 has been greenlit and is about to start production, we're assuming they're going to explore that even more as well. And of course, we know that Captain Marvel is going to return for at least one Avengers film. Probably both, but at least one. We know that she'll be in Avengers Secret Wars and she'll probably be in Avengers 5. In fact, I'm pretty sure her and Falcon are going to be kind of the two co-leaders, much like Captain America and Iron Man were kind of the co-leaders of the Avengers. I think it's going to be somewhat of a same dynamic between Falcon and Captain Marvel for the new Avengers team. This is not to be confused with the leads of the movie because we have heard that Spider-Man is actually going to be one of the leads of the movie, meaning one of the main characters that is focused on in Avengers 5 and in Avengers Secret Wars. So overall, Marvel Studios is doing basically what they said they were going to do. They're making changes, and if something doesn't work for them, they're not going to continue to do it. If a movie franchise isn't working and the first one or second one does not do as well as they thought they were going to do, they're not going to make a follow-up. They're not going to make a sequel for that. Ant-Man is a great example. We had two really good movies, in my opinion, but then the third one did not perform well at the box office and wasn't received well by fans, so Marvel and Disney took a look at that and said, all right, we're done. 
we're not going to continue to do it because the last one didn't work. And now they move on and focus on more sure things, as they say. And when they say sure things, I think of characters like Spider-Man, the Hulk, definitely the Fantastic Four coming up, and definitely the X-Men. And although Thor Love and Thunder wasn't that well received, the movie did fine at the box office, bringing in $760.9 million. And they specifically know, I think everybody does, why the movie didn't work, and they know that they're going to change Thor 5, which is about to begin production, so we've heard. So with the Fantastic Four coming, the X-Men coming, and characters like Spider-Man, Thor, the Hulk, and don't forget some Netflix characters like Daredevil, the Punisher, etc., all being in the MCU now, or coming to the MCU very shortly, I think Marvel, the future of Marvel, is looking pretty brightly, especially with Deadpool coming up. We all know that movie's going to be fantastic, but the rest of the MCU's future looks pretty good as well. But what do you think about this news? Do you think this is good? Do you think this is bad? Did you want to see sequels? to these movies or are you okay with them not making sequels let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the mcu and if you subscribe and leave a comment you're entered in our giveaway for a chance to win an xbox series x a ps5 or some marvel legends items the winner picks one item and we pick one winner at the end of each month you can find us on instagram and twitter and as always thank you all so much for watching woof woof